$1.6 trillion in student loan debt. Everyone's talking about it. Most people are affected by it. Some don't even realize they're affected by it. It's a problem. The average student that graduates, graduates with $35,000 in debt. A lot of you are facing student loan debt problems. A lot of you have little children and you're thinking about the cost of education and what you're facing as you're going into that. This is a big deal in America. Joining me, Rachel Cruz, best-selling author, Anthony O'Neill, best-selling author. I'm Dave Ramsey of The Dave Ramsey Show. We've been pounded to the point that when you're talking to high school students getting ready to go to college, they almost think it's permission to play. Permission you have to go into debt mm -hmm. to get to be on the stage. And it's, it's the biggest myth of them all, Dave. And it's not just with our, our young people, it's even with their parents. Our parents and the students do not even believe it is possible to go to college 100% debt-free. And to be honest, I didn't know. I didn't know it was possible to go into college uh, without racking up debt. And I took out loans just to go to college and not really to pay for my uh, college expenses, but Dave, just to pay for my lifestyle because the education wasn't out there. And I just, I'm tired of it. Um, and I just, I'm here to help educate and to bring hope to young people to let them know that you can go to college debt free. Okay, so that's our statement. You can go to college debt free. Now, how yes. do you do it? What's the big things you have to do? Well, here's the number one thing, Dave, is that, you know, one thing is we got to start educating our kids. And one of my good friends, Kevin, says that we're, our students are making kid or doing a kid's approach to an adult decision. Hmm. You know, they're going off to college just saying, you know what, hey, uh, this is my dream school. I want to go here. All my friends went here. This is good. I'm going to go this it's way. It's a beautiful campus. Beautiful campus. Oh. But you know what? A lot of students get upset at me because I say, you know what? Your dream school should not be that dream school. Your dream school should be a school that you can afford to pay cash and for. And if you can't, your dream becomes a nightmare. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, and I was going to say, too, you have to go into the mindset of this topic to say, absolutely, no matter what, there's no way I'm going into debt. Yeah. So you take debt completely out of the picture, then suddenly other options come in. Yes. Going to a school you can afford. Yeah. Scholarships and grants. Like, yes. this is free money. I always tell high school students, Take this approach where this is your part-time job. And even if it's a $200 scholarship, it feels like a drop in the bucket compared to your tuition. But take 30 minutes, fill out the form, write the essay. And if you get that scholarship or grant, you make $200 in 30 minutes. I mean, I'm like, that's like the best part-time job ever. So make it that and get that free money. The thing about the college choice is, in the equation, scholarships matter, the grants matter, mm -hmm. those kinds of things matter. But college choice is the biggest Biggest. math swing oh, in the equation. Absolutely. Because you can go from $60,000 a year to $2,000 a year Absolutely. in this discussion. From a you know a community college that in some states is free or is 2,000 bucks a year, yeah. all the way up to a muckety-muck prestige 60 grand. And it's okay if you go to any of them, as yeah. long as you can pay for it. But if you're trying to pay cash and you don't have any money, yeah. you can get the education on the lower end yes. of that spectrum in an in-state school, in a community college. And the other thing is, you've been talking a lot about trade schools. There's nothing, there's no shame in, especially if you're in stuff like technology, Absolutely. or if you want to go into a trade with your hands. Uh, welders make more than a lot of social <laughs> workers with a master's degree. They do, Dave. <laughs> and you know what? One thing, Dave, I'm teaching our young people is you got to identify your major. Make sure that this major is profitable. But once you identify, you know what, I want to be a hairstylist, or I want to be a carpenter, you don't have to go to a four-year university. You can go to a trade school and learn that particular trade within six months, spend about an average five to $7,000 for that particular trade school if possible. And then you can get graduate and go straight into the field making anywhere from thirty dollars to $60,000 a year in income. A diesel mechanics making 80 rounds. And so, you know, you could go do that and then pay for your four-year if you wanted to. That'd there be a way to do yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Turn the wrench. There's no shame in any of this. That's called working your way through school. And working while you're at school is a good thing, right? Yes, sir. I recommend going to a, what a college student. It's something that Rachel and I teach, and even you t teach this, Dave. Uh, work no more than 20 hours a week because what studies are showing that if they are working while they're in college, they have some sense of ownership. And when they have ownership, they can focus in their classrooms better. They're going to get better grades because now they have sweat equity in the game. And don't just go get any job. I mean, you want to do the math and say, okay, what's going to pay? Like, is waiting tables and getting great tips best? Is it? Is there something on campus that they could actually put some money towards your tuition? Like, be strategic about it and think about it. And it's amazing. Even just getting, you know, if you're a girl, a nannying job in the city that you're in and work for a family. I mean, like, it, there's so many options and ways to make money, and so do it. And again, it's hard. It's it's so much easier to sign your name to a student loan and to sign your name on that dotted line. It's hard 
to go to the school you don't want to go to. It's hard to apply for those scholarships and grants. It's hard to work while you're in school. It's hard to live a lifestyle of a college student when all of your friends are like, you know, spending all this money. But man, those short-term sacrifices for long-term gain is so worth it. Yeah, that way the 32-year-old version of you doesn't hate the 20-year-old version of you. <laughs> yes, people. or having to live like a college student once you're out of college. Right, and you know, I talked to the dean of a business college about 20 years ago, and I've seen this come up time and time again. They had done a study at a major state university that showed that the amount of student loans at that time being taken out was the equivalent to the increase in lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Meaning the apartment that they rented, wow. living off campus, they yeah. got a car, wow. they did all these, they spent money socially and those kinds of things. And the debt that they were coming out with was not tuition mm. related, it was increase in college lifestyle. lifestyle. So, you know, the dreaded thing that you really are not supposed to say out loud is, you can live at home <laughs> and go to college. <laughs> you, you really can, Dave, because I mean, even studies are showing that if a local in-state university will be about eight to $10,000 a year. So if you stay home and eat at home, you can really graduate from an in-state college for about $40,000. That saves you a lot of money. $10,000 a year, you can make delivering pizza while you're living at home. Easy. That's it. Drive Uber. Do something. Do something. Do something. Then we're done. <laughs> so America has done a horrible job. The culture has done a horrible job of selling you guys on the fact that a student requires a student loan. And Anthony's got a new book coming out that shows you step by step by step exactly the things we've been talking about on how to avoid that. It's and a great looking you, book, Anthony. Oh, I gotta Thank tell you, you the book cover too. <laughs> This is this guy's good. Yes, looking guy. I mean, look at his cover. Yeah, so nice, Dave. Thank so you. Debt-free debt degree, baby. Talk yes, about sir. this. You know, you know, parents. It is overwhelming. I understand that you have a lot coming before you with this college process coming up. But you know what? I wrote this book because I want to help you get your kid into college 100% debt-free. So we literally start the process from seventh grade through 12th grade on what you need to be doing in every year up until that process. And the one thing I love about it too, Dave, in this book, we even teach parents how to really master the ACT and the SAT. If they can really focus and prep for that and get some high scores, this is the difference between getting a partial scholarship to a full ride. Mm -hmm. And we talk about that on really how to be successful in this book. It's a step-by-step, clear, path, talking about the principles that we just outlined, and it's only $19.99. I mean, this is what's known as a deal. So you can get it at DaveRamsey.com, you can get it at AnthonyO'Neill.com, you can get it anywhere a great book is sold. So be sure and check it out, because this, you know, really, the, we have to treat the problem, not the symptom. Yeah. The student loan debt is the symptom. The problem is people didn't know how to get an education without debt. And this is the vaccine. It's the antidote. I'm really proud of you. This is a great book. So good. Oh, it's Thank fantastic. You. It's going to be a big seller, so don't miss out on it. No, no. Debt-free degree. Number one Anthony seller. Anthony O'Neill. That's it, baby. <laughs> Get after it. <laughs>